Hello, this is Bern, and if you're experiencing a lack of consideration, decency, and respect for men, I'm going to share with you today why this happens and what you can do to change this for the better once and for all. Hello, this is Bern. Welcome to another edition of BernMendez.com, a space where I share with ambitious, conscious, heart-centered, and successful women how you can attract the quality man you want and step into the most fulfilling relationship of your life as a direct result of being your most alive and feminine version of you without the need for gimmicks, manipulation, and crazy techniques. One of the biggest complaints I hear from women all around the world, doesn't matter what country or continent, is that they feel disrespected by some men, sometimes by many men. And the one thing I wanted you to take out of this video, in addition to a few more specifics that have to be in place for you to stop experiencing disrespect for men is that this respect for men comes from a man doing something that violates your rights, your needs, your tastes, your sense of safety. Sometimes because they don't understand that's what's needed. Sometimes because there's no consequence when they disrespect you. So I'm going to take this down into four different boundaries that I want you to be able to set. And why talking about boundaries? Boundaries are like an invisible line in the sand that you put a claim and stake on and are unwilling to move beyond unless you're met with a specific level of respect or a specific level of consideration, right? And why do we need boundaries? Because if you want a deep, intimate relationship, deep intimacy by definition requires more openness, openness of heart, openness of mind, openness of body, openness of spirit. And if you don't have safeguards, there's no way you can open. Or if you open without safeguards, you stand the chance of being hurt deeply by someone doing something that violates an important value or an important principle in your life. So here's the, th if, if you're about to step into connecting with more men, here are the four boundaries I have as a wish for you to step into, consider, and express. First one is the boundary of vision. Boundary of vision means that you should not date men who don't have a similar vision for the kind of life you want. So the boundary of vision is I will not date you if you are unsure about what you want in your life. Because I have a vision of what I want in my life I have an inclination to create specific results in my life. If I want to go to Tokyo primarily, metaphorically, and you want to go to South America, then our visions are not meeting at any point. So there's no need for us to experience intimacy, intensity, playfulness when we're headed in different directions. One of the biggest mistakes I see women make is they're afraid of expressing their vision out of a fear that men will think that they are too needy or they are putting too much pressure on them. There's a way to set a boundary that doesn't require men to feel pressured unless they are the kind of men who feel pressure about anything. So boundary of vision means you're able to ask a man the question, what are you looking for in a relationship? Now if that man has no ability to express what he wants, is confused, or is sharing something with you that is the opposite of what you want, that's the boundary you set. I will not spend more time with you if you want something that's not what I want, right? That sounds simple. Next one, boundary of time. Boundary of time means that you're able to state in the dating process how a man can be respectful of your time. For example, there's men who like to plan ahead and would like to share with you on a Monday, hey, you know what? Or a Tuesday, I'd love to see you this weekend. Are you available on Friday night or Saturday night or whatever? Now, that's a respectful way of expressing uh, respect for your time. But if a guy messages you at 7 p.m. on a Friday, SUP question mark, you free right now, that, although that could be a very spontaneous thing, for the most part, it's a lack of consideration of your time. He's thinking, my time is more important than yours. So rather than taking a few breaths of air and planning ahead of time, how can I fit into your schedule I want you to feed into mine. That's so the boundary of time would mean something like sharing with a guy, hey, if you want to date me, then please give me more days of heads up. 
you know, uh, if a guy commits to seeing you on a specific date and then he cancels three minutes early, well, the boundary of time would be that he has the capacity to share with you, I'm sorry that I'm canceling right now, I'll make it up to you, here's when I can meet you again, is that possible? Or here's why I couldn't meet you today in something that sounds reasonable versus just forgot, didn't cancel, cancel five minutes before, and it's not an emergency, it's something he could have avoided. That would be disrespecting your boundary of time if you've expressed it in the dating process. Next one is the boundary of physical contact. Why? Because if you are unable to express what needs to happen for a guy to hold your hand, hold your leg, hug you in a way that's more intimate, kiss you on the lips, <laughs> uh, or have sex with you, or make out, then the guy is going to be testing those boundaries and see how far he can get. Something better than having him test that would be right out of the gate. If, if you feel that the experience can lend itself to more physical contact, that you A, define what you're comfortable with, and B, have the courage to express it. Right now I find you attractive and even though I found you attractive, I don't want to connect this intimately yet because it takes me longer. That would be setting a boundary of physical contact. Now the guy can step up and say, you know what? That's amazing that you value yourself this much and that resonates with me as a man, so I'm gonna be more patient. Or he's gonna say, you know what? If I can't make love to you on the first date or have sex with you, <laughs> not really make love, uh, then I'm out, then he's out, right? You don't wanna break your boundary just because a guy can't hold himself to a higher standard. Next one is the boundary of progress. Boundary of progress means that you want to figure out through the dating process, especially as months go by, where the hell are you headed? Because if you want to eventually end up in marriage and a child, or marriage, or whatever your end goal is in that relationship, you need to make sure that there's milestones that are taking place, including conversations, including, including proactive planning, that allow you to get there. There's gonna be guys who are gonna be saying, you know what, you're so uptight. Let's just see how this goes. Let's just progress with the flow. And for a guy who has the capacity to experience, let's say childbirth when he's 80 years of age, he can get someone pregnant at 80 years of age, not recommended, but it's physically possible, versus you who if you wanna have children, biologically, you might have to do a lot earlier. You don't wanna waste your time with someone who doesn't want to progress a relationship in a healthy, meaningful way. You wanna make sure that you have the ability to set a time to connect and figure out how this is going for both of you, where you're headed and what needs to happen to get there. Failure to set these boundaries often results in catastrophically painful relationships. Relationships that are full of ups and downs and roller coasters and soap opera type intensity, which is not necessary. So I hope you find this helpful, useful, insightful. If you are, I'm gonna ask you to do one thing. I've created a video that shows you with more specificity than this one, how you can progress from no relationship to the relationship that you want. All you have to do is click on the first link in the description of this video, enter your name and email, and you'll be redirected to that video right away. If you like this video, please click like or thumbs up, subscribe to my channel so you can continue getting new videos as they come out. And if you are listening to me and are saying, you know what, I love videos, but I want help and hand-holding and accountability from you, then there's a specific number of spots available right now, a limited number of spots where I can help you create the relationship that you want and guide you by the hand. Uh, another link in the description of this video will allow you to submit an application to figure out if we are the best fit to work together. Thank you so much for connecting with me, and as always, I challenge you to live a full and a conscious life.